So, the first two pieces of vinyl are ready. Um, so you would ask, why don't I uh, glue the vinyl not in one piece on this wall? Well, that's the reason. Here is a... a Semen. Semen. The, 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 the begin and the end of the wooden plate. And that's, that's going to work. It's going to uh, expand and extract um, when, it, when it's uh, uh, moisture or uh, the temperature is not good. Yeah? The temperature is going up and down and the moisture is going up and down, then it's going to work. Yeah? We say in, in, in Dutch we say the wood works. So, and then the vinyl is going to... Uh, rupture. Rupture. So, that's why we do it like this. And then, uh, we put a, some, a piece of uh, aluminum over it, like this. You like the color? It looks like, a, like, it looks like old planks from an old floor. I think it's nice. When I glued the vinyl on the walls in the toilet, I was fishing the glue out of the bucket, so like this. I thought by myself, uh, there must be an easier way, and it is. Just simple, like this. Easy. <laughs> you see? <laughs> it's going fine so. This is a much quicker way. So, in the side of the bag. And then, just Did I not think of that before? <laughs> this way. To prevent uh, the drops of glue on the floor, on the final floor, I have um, cut the piece of vinyl for the wall. I cut it the right size and then I lay it on the floor so when I <laughs> drop some glue on the floor then it's coming on uh, on this vinyl and every time clean the knife I don't know uh, how to call it in, uh, in English but uh, we say a cam a cam so I clean it on the material that is getting on the wall, eh? the, 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 the back side of the vinyl. So it's clean every time you have to use it. Now it's time for that vinyl on the wall.
That's better. Well, there's a window here behind. I'm gonna cut that after this is in place. Sometimes they get air bubbles behind the vinyl, so you have to straighten them out really well. You see? So Don't cut it on the right size at once. First, uh, a little small hole. You see? Now I can cut it here on the right side. So, underneath the bed. There comes an, uh, we call it in, uh, in Dutch a latum bodem. <laughs> so uh, all the pieces of wood to ventilate the underside of the mattress. And um, I thought uh, it's better than that here that we uh, put some vinyl here as also. And we had uh, leftover pieces from, uh, from under this one. That is uh, this piece, and under this one is this piece, and a small 40 centimeter piece was uh, the, uh, was dirty. Uh, the, the, there was a uh, glue sticky. from the yeah, sticky, sticky from from uh, uh, the tape. The tape, yeah, <laughs> glue from the tape. So you can you, you cannot use it on a wall. You see the the, the, the stickiness from from the tape. It's uh, that's not a, a good size. So now we could use that for under the bed. Now uh, these wooden planks for the ventilation. I screw them on here, and then the mattress can go on uh, on this, and then uh, glue the front. And the bed is ready. It's a bit dark. Yeah? This uh, final is a bit a bit dark, but. It feels cozy. It feels cozy, really. I'm happy. It looks cozy, don't you think? A bit like a tiny home or a tiny house. <laughs>